we here we've got a Thomas bus and uh, customer complaint is uh, it's a no start well on these buses they have uh, they have a system in the back to uh, start as well as in the in the in the front well in order to get the thing to start you have to have it uh, the switch in the neutral position and the key in the run position up front that'll enable you to press the start button and it should fire right up um, but obviously not so without schematics and that's what this video is really all about is troubleshooting this bus without any available schematics for the starting system when you especially when you have an auxiliary uh, starting system so dual starting positions so the first thing I did is we know we can start the bus if we trigger the uh, the solenoid which you can see the wire right here so I've disconnected it from the solenoid you can see that and I've hooked my toner to uh, to that trigger lead right so now I take my toner and I come back here and I already know which relay it is this one right here so we press the button on our toner and we get the tone so pull the relay out and we try to positively identify the pin uh, in question that is running to that solenoid so I know I know it's this one here when I press the button it's much higher you know it's much louder than it is at any other location you can see how that works so once you get that that tone you know you're you're uh, in the pond where the fish are biting okay so I'll stop the video at this point and uh, we'll we'll pick it up uh, when I when I figure out the rest of the direction okay we're back again let's explain this uh, relay operation so we have four pins on this relay uh, one pin is going to go directly to the the starter solenoid and the opposite corner diagonally is going to have a battery power supplied to it though those are your contact uh, uh, pins okay the other pins here and over on the far corner those are your trigger pins okay so you're going to have a very small amount of current on the trigger which runs through a coil which creates a mag uh, you know a magnetic uh, um, pull and it closes these contact points between this pin and and that pin back there which goes to our starter solenoid okay so that's uh, basic relay operation so what I found in this application is that this this pin here once again goes to our starter solenoid that pin down here on this on this corner should be battery power when when we go to press the the start button here boom when we as soon as we press that start button we should have battery power here um, it's an unusual situation because when the when the rocker is in the neutral position you're actually your coil is actually triggered so if there were battery power it would start right at the new while this is in the neutral position so um, I actually jumpered a little wire um, behind the switch over to uh, the battery input side um, on this on this relay and it started right up so that tells me there's another relay that this switch is triggering up front or somewhere remotely and that that remote relay provides the battery side input for this relay so that we could start the engine when we press start so i know that sounded complicated and it is complicated um there there i have never troubleshooted trouble shot um, a uh, starting system quite like this one here by far the most complicated 
that you're going to encounter, especially when you don't have schematics.